In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool airplane poster that you can use for a campaign or a travel agency in Canva in just a few minutes. And it's these type of posters that really grab the attention that have this design element, that real special touch to it. So let's see how we create it in Canva. And here in Canva, I'm going to give it a nice background element. So go to elements and here type in sky. Now go for photos, see all. And then let's take one of the nice images here and drag it on the screen. If we release it on the left side, it will instantly fill the entire screen, which is quite cool. Now I'm going to look for airplane window and I go for graphics. Now we can choose a whole bunch of different airplay windows. You can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to choose this top one here, which seems to be quite realistic. Let's scale it up a bit and put it on the right. Now I'm going to look for in airplane itself. So I'm just going to remove the word window and then go to photos because we want to have that realistic effect on our slide and then see whichever one you like. You can take one with a background and remove it, or you can take one without background. Let's say we want to use this one. I'm going to add it to the slide. Now, if you want to match it to your brand colors, for example, if you want to use blue, you can change the color here, but I'm going to stick with that vibrant red. I think it's pretty cool. Let's scale it down a little bit and position it in the window, but that it still sort of peeks out. I think that is a really nice effect. Now I'm just going to crop the side until we meet that airplane window. And there we have it. Now, if we zoom in, put it on full screen, we can either position the plane so that everything is nicely matching or we can always use the magic eraser that also works. But what you can also do is you can sort of cover it up. So what we're going to do now is we take some clouds and then graphics or photos. You can choose which one you like. I'm going to use the realistic ones, so the photos, and then select some of the clouds here. They sort of blend in with the image in the background and sort of cover up what you want to, what you want to hide, let's say. So if you add some clouds over the design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position and then layers and then sort of shift it behind the airplane. So we have some depth to the slide. We have some layers in the slide and that's what we want. Maybe one more cloud. So let's make it a bit smaller, just like here to make it extra realistic. And now we're going to add some text. So press T and let's type in budget. If it's for a budget airline, then I'm going to fonts and here type in regular and use regular brush or any other font that you like. I'm going to use that same red color and then place it here. Press T again and type in airline. Of course, this font is going to be a bit too much. I'm going to make it white. And I'm going to choose a different font, a really nice one, which is called Bobby Jones. I think that really fits the style here. Now, if it becomes hard to read, you can always add some effect and lift to it with a shadow. So that makes it easier to read. And then at the top, let's type in your. And if you want to fit this in, you can always scale it down. It's less of an important word. So you can just scale it down and sort of nudge it in between the letters. Let's also add some lift off to that red letter just a little bit. And maybe if we want to make it a bit darker red, that will be better. That will be more readable. And then I'm just going to increase everything. And let's also position that below the airplane. I think that will look quite cool. And we have some depth to the slide, to the design, and that's what we want. Maybe some elements, let's say airplane. And now we have that path. I think this harsh shape will look really cool on the design. Add it there make it red as well and just fit it in. So now we have made the design. Let's have a look at how we can animate the slides as well. And for that, we're just going to select all of the elements, go to animate and let's try a page animation. See what it does with magic animate. See what it comes up with, if it looks nice and then you can also tweak it. Let's go for a bold one because I kind of like that airplane flying in, but I don't like it for the other one. So I'm going to add some rise element on the left side elements. And then those clouds, they can also be animated with a sort of rise float animation. The airplane itself, I don't really like that it sort of pops in out of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the window and the airplane and group it together and animate it as one. And that maybe needs a breed animation and that will be cool. So let's preview that. And this is how you can create this really cool airplane poster campaign image for your campaigns that will look really nice on your website, social media or any digital banner. So thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.